right here is where you get, and I'll move myself to the corner here. Uh, I think this right here is where you get the explanation of why this trial is so bad. I think this summarizes the trial and a lot of the problems in the trial very, very, very succinctly. The nature of the objection. Your Honor, as I understand this, the, the relevance of this under the state's theory is financial pressure due to the, he said, $10 million that he expected uh, the defendant to pay. Uh, these details about interactions with other defendants, uh, it's, the relevance is just not apparent. And then there's getting... Your Honor, through my questions, I've been trying to uh, minimize getting into the weeds on that. I believe the response that the witness, I'm happy to proffer an answer to that particular question, is communicating to the defense that uh, he, um, you know, intended to sue Maggie and Paul in Buford County if he detected uh, anything that he thought uh, in Hampton County that was uh, that was um, untoward. And I think that that's specifically relevant to the specific pressures that were rising on this defendant uh, in May of 20, excuse me, April of 2021. Well, I think you could have asked him that question, but I agree with the defense. Um, uh, you said you're not trying to get in the weeds, but you're far into the weeds, into the other case, and I sustain the objection. Okay, so, so here's the problem. So the judge literally said, you're far into the weeds. Who let you get there? Who allowed that? It's the judge. The judge allowed that. The judge made this happen. Um, so it's, you know, it, this to me is the, the ultimate, the ultimate what the fuck moment, the ultimate point of why this trial is a fucking joke because the judge does not realize his responsibility. His responsibility is as a gatekeeper. It's to keep stuff out. He's allowed these errors to happen. These, these did not have to happen but for him allowing these witnesses in. What did you think they were going to bring up? Why are you sustaining the objection literally after the jury is gone? What the fuck is going on here? And, and, then, and then listen to this continue. And, and they continue to fail and fail and fail. And we will resume at 9.30. Mr. Harpoogian. Um, get a little bit of, I miss, I will say guys, I do miss Dick Poon. I do miss Dick Poon. It's been a while. Um, just, just, just mannerisms. I mean, they get to me. At some point in this case, the defense will have the opportunity to call witnesses. Yes, I'm not sure when that's going to be. Um, Anyway, a number of our witnesses, when I say a number, at least four, perhaps five, are from out of state. They're experts. So it, it's prohibitively expensive for us to just fly them in and have them sit somewhere for a week or two. I wonder if we could inquire of the state, is there some end to their case that they predict will happen within? And because, Your Honor, if, 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 if they tell us they're going to end on, I mean, sort of the reverse, they tell us they're going to end on, 10 days for today, and they end eight days for today, or we won't have witnesses to put up. It's going to, so we delay the court. So, and it's not, I've talked to uh, the attorney general several times, and he has been unable to predict to me when that might happen. I thought perhaps, uh, and I'm not asking he do that right now, but perhaps he could, Your Honor, if you would ask him, he could like consult with his team and think about, um, when that might happen. And again, I'm only asking so that we don't say, we don't have a witness here. They're in Chicago or Connecticut or whatever, because they have to, they have to book flights and they have to, um, you know, I, 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 I'm not whining. I'm just saying to some specific Reasonable request. I certainly understand. I don't do that much. So, 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 you know, the judge is laughing. He's going, this is a reasonable request. Not only is this reasonable, ladies and gentlemen, it, in most, in most trials, they would have already done this. They would have said, hey, this is the trial schedule. You got to wrap it up by then. This is your time. You got this day or this day. We'll give you plus or minus one day. But you got to wrap this shit up. I mean, and I know the judge keeps wanting to extend it, but let's say you do agree to extend it. 
you give new deadlines. You say, okay, we'll allow the prosecution to go till X, the defense starts at X, expert witnesses come in then. This is a very, very, very basic thing. It's very common in many trials. If the prosecution had asked for this, they would have done it already. And it's his fucking job. And, and this makes me incest. It's his job to control this. And he's just saying, y'all let, let, you know, the Godzilla, Ken Watanabe, let them fight. You know, just stand back and doing nothing. And pretending he doesn't have the power. It's it's crazy. This part, this part to me, and just he's laughing about it. I'm like, it's not funny. It's it's your fuck up. Thank you. All right, I believe, and I think the defense counsel will have to concede. I've been very accommodating at, at what our next day's schedule is and, 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 you know, trying to provide that. I've tried my best to communicate with the defense, and I, I, I think he would have to concede. I've yeah, been, he's not worried about that part. He wants to know, when are you going to be through? Well, I think... <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, it's funny because that's what the judge needs to set. This is, the people laughing, but it's the fucking judge, judge's job. It's funny because literally everybody knows that, that this is just cumulative evidence at this point. It's, it's, it's hilarious. And, I'm not and, I, and I told, and, and, you know, he says I, I didn't tell him, and I told him that, you know, right now I'm thinking at the latest midweek next week is what I was thinking. I told him that earlier today. Uh, and, and again, Your Honor understands these are fluid. Objection can happen. Cross-examination happens. And camera proceedings can happen. But that is what I told him. Does that give you a sufficient idea? You know. Um, but if, as this process goes on, they decide they need to, I mean, again, I'm, I said I accused him of gilding the lily, lily and pair uh, piling on, it's apparently instinctive. I'm not criticizing it, it's his case. Uh, I am criticizing it, it's his case. Um, but uh, I just, and he has every day when I've asked him, who you calling tomorrow? Been 100% cooperative and we're gonna do the same for him. That's but, basic. Um, as we proceed through tomorrow, and he thinks he's gonna be done midweek, next Wednesday of next week. That's my best assessment right now, yes sir. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to structure a plan where we have available witnesses Wednesday, Thursday that we don't have to fly in, but it may be the following week before we can get those folks here, if that makes some sense. I mean, I'm just... I understand. Well, we'll, you know, we'll need to address it as we go and I think uh, maybe reassess things and give, give you some lead time. Who, no who's, once again... Well, whose job is it to do that? Whose job is it to manage the calendar? Whose job is it to build in that lead time? It, it's him. It's him. And, that, and that's the crazy thing. And, and that's, about, that's about all for that, uh, that particular clip. I don't think we need to see much more of that because that's, that's where that goes. But my point there is this. My point there is that there is no plan. There is, there is clearly no plan to this. There's clearly no thought to this. Um, and it, it's becoming increasingly obvious that this is just the judge letting everything in, letting everything happen, and letting them sort it out. It should not be. Trials, and you've seen other trials. We've seen Rittenhouse, right? We've seen Amber Heard. We've seen these trials go down and be relatively prompt. Even the frickin' Brooks trial looks organized compared to this. I, I mean, seriously, at least you could predict what was going to happen. You're like, okay, this is going to happen. The only debate was how, how many times are we going to hear grounds? You know, the only, the only thing was what objections we're going to have, but we had the speed. We knew what, we knew where it was going to go. We said, Hey, this is going to be a two week trial. And it was a two week trial. Never before have I seen a trial that was supposed to be three weeks that is now going to be six weeks all of a sudden in the middle of the trial. This is trial by ambush. There is case law upon case law saying this is not what you're supposed to have is trials that all of a sudden during the trial become something different. And the fact that the state had it planned the entire time and the judge failed to rule on that plan before the trial is disgusting.
and I think it's an aberration of justice, whether or not you think he's guilty or not. And we'll get into that. We'll get into the takes because I know the wine moms are going to be, oh, the wine moms are going to be out there. And by the way, there's two types of wine moms. I had to establish this another one. There's the hot, cool wine moms. They're fine with me. And then there's the, the you know, the cats and wine moms. Talking about the cats. There's two. Um, but listen, uh, for me, I, all I've seen, and I've been going through this, I've been coming through to see if there's anything that's been popping out to me from the trial to be super relevant. Um, I haven't found anything. It's all been financial crime stuff, which to me, I ask again and again, what does this go to prove motive of him for killing his wife and his son? All these things happening around the same time does not prove his motive, his guilt, his intent to kill wife and 